Hello, this is Microworld Illustrated, and today we will be learning about the basics of viruses. Some of you may be asking, what are viruses? Well, a virus is tiny, about a hundred times smaller than bacteria. To reproduce, they must use a host cell and invade them. Most viruses are a bundle of DNA or RNA encased in a protein coat. They also mutate much more often than most other cells or organisms. This is a virus example. There are many frequently asked questions about viruses. One of the most popular, if it's not already, is asking if viruses are living organisms. Because of the way they reproduce, most viruses are con considered to be not living, as they require a host and cannot reproduce on their own. Another frequently asked question was about the first virus discovered. The first virus ever discovered was the tobacco mosaic virus, and it was discovered by Dmitry Ivanovsky in 1892. Last but not least, many people ask what organism do viruses attack? Well, viruses attack all sorts of organisms, including animals, plants, protists, fungi, and bacteria. This is how a virus infects a cell. First, the virus attaches to the cell. Then, the virus injects the genetic info into the cell. That genetic info tricks the cell into creating many copies, and the copies burst out of the cell, killing the cell, and go on to infect more cells. Viruses have a bad reputation for causing the world's biggest or deadliest pandemics, or both. Few of the many deadly diseases are influenza, acquired immunodeficiency syndrome, hepatitis, and smallpox. Influenza, also known as the flu or cold, is only caused by types A, B, and C of the 100 different types of influenza viruses. Symptoms include fever, headache, and chills and the virus is transmitted through air and bodily fluids. The next disease is acquired immunodeficiency syndrome, which is also known as AIDS. It is caused by HIV, which its full name is the human immunodeficiency virus. Symptoms of the disease are nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, fatigue, weight loss, and coughing, and is transmitted mainly through body fluids. Next is hepatitis. It is caused by multiple different types of viruses with multiple different types of the disease. Symptoms of the disease are loss of appetite, fatigue, fever, muscle or joint aches, nausea, and vomiting. And it is transmitted through bodily fluids and shared supplies, such as food and water. And last is caused by the variola virus, and it is called smallpox. Symptoms are blisters, fatigue, fever, and aches all over the body, which is how it's got its name from the small blisters created all over the skin, and is transmitted through air and saliva. Here are the credits for the photos I used. And thank you for watching my video. The link for this slide will be available in the description if you want to check it out. Feel free to submit any questions, comments, or feedback in the comment section below. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next Microworld Illustrated video.